Hi, my name is Lee Kilpack. I will be presenting on the nurse theorist Margaret Newman. I'll give a brief overview of her amazing education and career, discuss her theory of health as expanded consciousness, and talk about how I feel it can help in practice. Margaret Newman was born on October 10th, 1933. She earned her bachelor's degree in 1962 from the University of Tennessee and her master's degree in 1964 from the University of California. While she was working on her graduate degree, she served as a joint director of nursing of a clinical research center and at the same time served as an assistant professor of nursing at the University of Tennessee. She then received a doctorate from New York University in 1971 and taught at NYU until 1977. In the fall of 77, she accepted the position of professor in charge of graduate study in nursing at Penn State University. In 1984, Newman began working as a nurse theorist at the University of Minnesota, and she retired from teaching in 1996. Newman is a fellow in the American Academy of Nursing. She's been honored as an outstanding alumna from both the University of Tennessee and New York University. She received the Distinguished Scholar in Nursing Award from New York University, the Founders Award for Excellence in Nursing Research from Sigma Theta Tau International, and the E. Louise Grant Award for Nursing Excellence from the University of Minnesota. As nursing expands its scientific base and moves into more qualitative approaches, it is important to know more about the nurse theorists that offer qualitative theories and methods. One such theorist is Margaret Newman. So what is Margaret Newman's theory? It is called health as expanded consciousness. It asserts that every person in every situation, no matter how disordered and hopeless it may seem, is part of the universal process of expanding consciousness. It is a process of becoming more of oneself, of finding greater meaning in life, and of reaching new dimensions of connectedness with other people. According to Newman, the theory of health as expanding consciousness was stimulated by concern for those whom health as, a, as the absence of disease or disability is not possible. Nurses often relate to such people, people facing the uncertainty, debilitation, loss, and eventual death associated with chronic illness. Her theory goes on to state that patients are open to the whole energy system of the universe, as well as constantly interacting with the energy. This process of interaction allows people to evolve their individual patterns of whole. According to Newman, understanding the patient's pattern is essential. The pattern recognition is the expanding consciousness. The manifestation of disease depends on the pattern of the patient. So the pathology of the disease exists before the symptoms begin to appear. Because of this, removal of the disease symptoms does not change the individual structure. Newman goes on to redefine nursing according to her nursing process of recognizing the individual in relation to the environment and that it is a process of the understanding of consciousness. The nurse's understanding of people helps them use the power within to develop the higher level of consciousness. Therefore, it helps to realize the disease process, its recovery, and its prevention. Newman postulated that these concepts are interrelated in the following ways. Time and space, which have a complementary relationship, and that movement is a means by which space and time become a reality. And movement is a reflection of consciousness. And time is a function of movement. And finally, that time 
is a measure of consciousness. The theory explains that health and illness are synthesized as health. That is, the fusion of one state of being, which is disease, with its opposite, non-disease, results in what can be considered health. In this model, the human is unitary. He or she cannot be divided into parts and is inseparable from the larger unitary field. People are individuals and human beings are, as a species, identified by their patterns of consciousness. The person does not possess consciousness. Instead, the person is consciousness. People are centers of consciousness with an overall pattern of expanding consciousness. The environment is described as a universe of open systems. Newman's health as expanding consciousness theory is beneficial because it can be applied in any setting and generates caring interventions. I believe that if we see our patients as a whole person and not simply a diagnosis, we will be more effective. My goal is to apply her theory to my future practice and believe it will help me as a psychiatric nurse practitioner. I'm still trying to learn how to apply her entire concept of expanded consciousness, but feel as though the more I study it and apply it, the more effective, effective I will become as a practitioner. Here are my references that I used for this slideshow presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good day.